Hi, Apartment Therapy. My name is Victoria. Welcome to my 600 square foot apartment in downtown Jersey City. I've lived here with my partner for two years. When we were looking for an apartment in Jersey City, we really wanted something light and airy and didn't have a super weird layout. I kind of wanted to break up the space into multiple rooms within a large room since we really only had this one big room to work with. So we really liked this apartment because it did have that separate bedroom that felt like its own space. That was really important to both of us because we both work from home and we wanted a place where like if both of us are on a meeting, the other person could run into the other room, have a little bit of that privacy. So this is our living area space. Before we even moved into this apartment, we had actually purchased a couple pieces of furniture that we thought would fit in our apartment. And then when we moved into this apartment, we're like, oh shoot, there's a mantle. Where are we gonna put our entertainment center that we bought? So we ended up using the entertainment center really as a divider between the room to kind of create two different kind of spaces. I kind of wanted to also create different spaces within this space. So this was really like, you know, you could sit here and like work on your laptop and like you have this little table here that you could like have a snack or have a coffee. I love this chair. This is a vintage Ames chair from Andrew's Nana actually that she gifted to us when we moved in here. And I really liked putting the mirror behind here to kind of create another hallway that goes into the kitchen. One of the reasons why we really loved this couch was because it had so much storage underneath. When you lift this up underneath, there's just a huge amount of storage. We have like tons of blankets in here, tons of sheets, just like a really great and easy space to throw in here. And if you need something, it's like easy to grab. And one of the reasons we actually bought this couch is because we bought that painting first and we really liked how this like warm chestnutty color bounced off of that orange in the painting, which is kind of funny to say that we bought a couch because we bought a painting. The mantle really has been a work in progress over the past two years. I struggled so much with how to figure out how to really style it, especially with the TV above it. Um, I really wanted it, it to kind of be this like floral, romantic, especially with how pretty the fireplace is and like the mantle is down here. I really wanted to kind of like highlight that and tie everything all in together. These lanterns are actually from my best friend's wedding. She gave them to me afterwards. And I really love the golds and how that tied in with the candle holders and the golds here. I actually got this floral piece from Etsy. That's been really the main theme for this apartment is just bringing in things that I love and like that we love together and that make us happy to look at. One of the things that you'll notice is that there is a PS4 in this apartment, but you don't see it. You can see like the wire runs out the TV down the side of the, the mantle, and then it actually runs under the rug. It's actually in this cabinet back here. The light fixture, this was here when we got here, and we loved it. We think it's like really fun, it's quirky. I loved how the colors um, were gold and orange, and that kind of tied in with all of the other like decorations that we have for this place. So I call this our faux foyer. So this is when you walk in, you wanna just like take your jacket off. This is like our little bowl for our keys. We throw our keys in here when we walk in. One of the things is the bike table. When we first moved in, we actually bought this bike table months before we even found this apartment. We just really liked it. It's from Bob's Furniture, actually. We went into Bob's and we were like, what is this amazing bike table doing in here? Um, another thing that I actually really loved about the bike table was it has this small little like bucket over here that you can throw stuff in. So this is really where we utilize all of our dog things. We have like dog wipes in here. We have like extra leashes. We have like tennis balls. We really loved how this was like a nice little feature and it's kind of hidden over here which is why I put this lamp here to kind of hide this little bucket. We have so much storage in here too which is really nice. The bottom shelf is like all of my candles. The top shelf is all PS4 things. We also have like other stuff in here like I keep like my nail polish in here. We have our printer in here. So kind of like a mishmash. When we were designing our desk areas, we knew that we wanted to create two separate spaces that really felt like our own for when we're sitting and working for eight hours. Really, I just wanted it to be super colorful and fun. When I put these paintings up, there was kind of like this empty, awkward space above. And I was thinking like, what would be fun to put up there? And I thought a neon sign would be really fun. And 
I didn't know what to put on the neon sign, like what to write. And Andrew always says that I'm a dilly dallier because I take forever with everything. So dilly dally was like one of the things that he always says as a joke. So that was one of the things that came to mind when I was picking out something to say. I really kind of liked like the Scandinavian vibe of like this chair and like this mushroom lamp. It's kind of just like fun and quirky. I really liked how this tied off of the dilly dally sign. If you can tell, I really love orange. So orange is a consistent theme, not only throughout my desk space, but throughout the apartment overall. We can mosey on into our kitchen area. This actually is our kitchen bar cart double. And we love how that you could tuck like the chairs underneath it really nice so that they're not taking up more space on the floor. And we love the racks here that double as a nice little bar cart. As far as storage goes, so we actually only have one drawer in this entire kitchen, which is our silverware drawer right here. So we really wanted to find a way to utilize this space really well. So one of the ways that we did that was we found these baskets from Target and we just dumped everything that we don't use on the day-to-day -day basis in the baskets. And that was really the best way for us to like use the height of the apartment. These baskets are kind of like coffee pods and tissue boxes and cleaning supplies. These baskets are like our crock pot our like waffle maker and this one is all dog toys and doggy things another great storage feature for this kitchen is we have this really great um, cubby up here which actually i don't store any kitcheny things in there it's all decor things i really love to kind of change the space up frequently over here this shelf actually came with the apartment when we moved in these are actually now this is like tea in here once that shelf we kind of figured out what we we're going to do with that shelf i really wanted to kind of add more vertical shelving and kind of like bring your eye upwards a little bit when you're in here because the kitchen gets to get decorated too. So this is our bedroom. When we first looked at this apartment, we were like, there's no way a queen bed is gonna fit in here. Like we thought we were gonna have to shove it against one wall. We did not think that we were gonna have this space here, but it worked out and it actually looks really nice in here. And we have plenty of space to walk around the whole bed, which is really nice. One of the things that we really wanted with the bed was to have storage underneath. Um, so we have like these really nice drawers that pull out. They have tons of space. We have not too much lighting in here because we have a beautiful view of these brick walls. One of the challenges in this room was lighting. Um, we really wanted to utilize as much light as we could. So one of the ways that we did that was I really wanted to have the, these nice bright nightstand lights for our side tables. And we have these shelves with like nice little like faux candles to give a little extra like light or bring your eye up towards the ceiling. Um, and then we also have some lights in here on our little reading nook. This shelf actually doesn't go fully back. So the light from this lamp actually comes down. So when you're sitting here, you can read your book and use that lamp as kind of like your light, um, which is nice. Um, originally we had our laundry baskets in here and we kind of just had junk on the shelves. So I actually work in jewelry. I manage production for Madewell Jewelry. So I really wanted to make a space that was gonna be like just for my jewelry and just like a fun place for me to like get dressed in the morning and like see everything laid out. This is another storage. This is actually like the other side of where the fridge is. So the fridge is right here and that's where that cubby is. And so this cubby is on the, like right next to it. Um, so up here we have some like extra paintings, we have shoes, we have hangers and stuff like that in here. So it's really just like another nice little storage space. When we first started decorating this room, um, really the mirror went up first and then we had the two side pictures hung up. But after I put those up, I really felt like something was missing above the mirror and it felt kind of empty. And so I decided I wanted to put a shelf up. These are all faux plants because it's difficult to take these plants down and like water them. Once I put that shelf up, I was like, okay, well now we, we need another shelf, obviously. Above the TV, we really didn't have a good place to put all of our books. One of my really good friends, Caroline, who actually lives in Jersey City too, who was also featured on Apartment Therapy, has this really amazing shelf in her, in her apartment with books on the whole shelf. And that's really where I got the inspiration for this shelf. This was kind of like an empty space above the TV anyways, so. I really liked just being able to like put something there um, and then it also kind of mirrors the other shelf on the other side which is nice. 
So this was kind of an awkward space when we first moved in. We really didn't, like, we just were using the closets. We weren't really utilizing this wall at all. So we got this dresser from Ikea. I really wanted white so that it would kind of blend in with the wall. Like, it wasn't, like, you wouldn't really see it. It wasn't, like, a huge eyesore. This was kind of just, like, a fun, like, getting ready area. Like, I wanted this to kind of be, like, my own little walk-in closet, even though it's not a closet. So it's, like, fun. I can, like, you know, put on, like, a hat or, like, Put on a headband and I have like a little mirror here. This is like our little closet space. This is Andrew's closet, as you can tell because it's a smaller closet. So this is my closet, which I feel really lucky to have because it's so big. We call this Narnia. Andrew <laughs> doesn't like to go in here because it's, he doesn't really fit in here because he's 6'3 and 250 pounds. <laughs> For the closet, the closet came with these shelves, which was really nice. I wanted to use like bins on the top just because I didn't have like this dresser yet and I had like, you know, like underwear and socks and stuff like that and it was just easier to throw them in a bin than to like have them in a drawer or taking up a ton of space. And then actually this, there are basement doors in here so it's a little bit spooky when we first saw the apartment. We were like, oh my God, what's that scary door? But it actually worked out really well because we're able to store a bunch of stuff down there, which is really nice. It's also like soundproof in here. So like if I'm in here and he's like calling for me, you like cannot, I cannot hear him at all. So there's a ton of space in here. There's another shelf up here where I keep like my roller skates and there's a ton of clothes up here. Really just everything that I need. The bathroom, I never really imagined decorating a bathroom. My friend who actually gave me the lantern, she gave me this really nice piece of art and it fit perfectly in the bathroom. So it kind of became like the centerpiece in there. And then from that, I really worked around it. I installed another one of those like little mini shelves from Amazon that you'll see like in the kitchen and over here by our dresser. We do have a rack, uh, which we have like the bins on the rack and the bin inside the bins there's like my hair stuff. Um, we have band-aids in the other bin. We have like extra toiletries, stuff like that. This is Teddy. Teddy, we like to call him the HBIC of this place. He's in charge. He actually was my parents' dog on Long Island before we moved here. He loves to sit on his little perch by the window and scream at all the dogs that walk by. And then under his little ottoman perch is all like dog storage under there too. So we have like his Halloween costumes are in there. We have like an extra dog blanket in there. When we first moved into this apartment, it was like not too many people living here. We really took over that space and kind of like made it fun. And I think we were at Home Goods and we just saw cute chairs and we were like, wait, what if we put like a cute table out here so we could like have breakfast and hang out? And we love it out there. We will pass things to each other through the windows. And whenever we're sitting outside, there's so many nice people that walk by and say, oh, like we love your outdoor space. It's just like a really great conversation starter. Even though it's a city, it really does feel like a neighborhood. And that's one of the reasons why we love living here so much. This is my first ever apartment actually, which was really exciting. Um, and it's my first time living with my partner Andrew. And this is also his first apartment. Before this, we were both living at home with our parents. Before this space, I haven't really designed a ton of spaces besides like my bedroom or my dorm room. Um, so this is really like the first opportunity that I had to fully design a space from scratch. And I think the biggest thing for both of us was just to bring in things that we loved and that made us happy to look at. So often do we say like, oh my gosh, this is just like so relaxing in here. I feel so good to come home to this place, which is like the best feeling ever.